On the part three of the photo retouching tutorial, we're going to go over how to kind of make these um, images kind of pop out. I mean, make this photo pop out um, from a flat to a really vibrant and a dreamy um, style. Before we get into that, though, we're just going to do a little quick enhancement on her eye. Um, and we're just going to put an eye. And again, um, same as on the previous tutorials, we're just going to color in her eye with the color. As you can tell, I'm just coloring it in, no big deal. And then we're just going to go in and apply a layer effect of color to it. A layer blending mode of color. I don't know why I call it layer effect. There we go. Now I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Make her have blue eyes. And then we're going to change the fill a little bit. Uh, maybe to 75 or so. And we can go back and adjust the hue and uh, saturation up, down, to kind of really make it fit. Now we could change our eye color to any um, color we want, obviously. But I want to stick with a little bluish look. And we're going to pop it out by, uh, we're going to kind of we're going to make a new layer on this and I, I want what I want to do is kind of um, get the reflections going over inside her eye so I'm just going to get a small brush really zoom in there just kind of pop it I color in like the reflection already existing of that person's eye if it's possible and now I'm gonna now as you see this white right here um, on normal, I'm gonna change this to overlay. And then kind of adjust the fill accordingly. So on this one I'm gonna use around 40. There you have it. Now her eyes are already popping, she has blue eyes, all that good stuff. Now we're gonna go into kind of softening this whole entire photo a bit. We're gonna go into the original base photo on the of the layer, and then we're gonna duplicate it. You can hold down Alt and press up or down arrow key and make sure you bring it back down because you're actually nudging it. Or you could just do right click duplicate layer, which probably is the easiest way. Anyway, now we're going to go blur, Gaussian blur. And uh, we're going to do a blur about the radius of 2.0, 1.9 pixels. I'm going to do 1.0 on this and I just cancel it. Okay, there. And then we're going to apply a screen filter to it. I mean, layer blending to it. Original screen okay and now obviously it's too bright we're going to change the opacity this time to what we want so about 40 40 or 50 and you can see the difference from the original now we don't want to leave it like that though um, we're going to go in with a really fat brush and change that up a bit and we're just trying to give her like hair area a really dreamy look. Now on this one it doesn't really work too well. Um, you can't really notice too much of a difference only because it's a white background. A lot of times on a, br a really dark background with you know photo with really vibrant lighting um, really turns out real good really dreamy and everything but on a white background it's kind of hard to tell because you can't really see the blur off the edges of the model or um, somebody. But as already though it's making a pretty significant difference from before. And you see there's already a little vibrant um, shine all the way across the top over here. Now we got that, that done. We're going to make another copy from the original duplicate layer. We're going to put that on top. We're going to apply an overlay to it. Now not all pictures work out exactly that great. Um, but on this one I'm going to apply an overlay. And I'm just basically going to erase almost all of the photo, except certain parts. Now, there's another easier way of doing this. Um, I just want this part to really pop out um, vibrantly. But there's another easier way of doing this. And that is, after you apply the overlay, you can just change the opacity settings to about 30, 20. Again, it's really low on opacity, only because we're going to go in and change it. Um, with, I mean, erase most of it with the eraser tool anyway. And then just going to go in and kind of erase, 
because you know the hair area is a little too bright and erase that part now as you can tell here's the difference it already popped out okay there we have it and then the next thing we want to do is kind of apply a smooth effect now I call this smooth white and then get a really big brush even adjust it and then we're going to apply um, a little brushing technique on our face it's okay if you cover her whole face but let's just test it with the face first and then we're going to apply a, an overlay option and then we're going to change the fill to 20 around maybe 35 again yeah that's good now this is again a lot of it has to do with trial and error and messing around but we're going to erase certain parts add certain parts and I call this smooth white only because it really kind of smooths out the skin because no human beings have perfect skin but you know both models and um, fashion magazines do and that's really exactly what we're doing kind of lightening up her neck a little bit there we go now as you can tell I'm going to show you the difference right now you see the difference and we just kind of popped it out. Now we're going to apply a layer of uh, lighting effect to it just real fast. Um, lighting effect. And then we're going to apply a new layer of black onto it. And the filter, render, lighting effects. Now we. Wait, wait, no, no. We want to apply white to the, not black. Sorry about that. Now, render, filter, render, lighting effects, and um, you want to kind of adjust the composition or where you want the light to come from. Now, we had the model around this area, so you got to make sure you don't cover her up too all too much. There we go. Kind of mess or messing around with it, and just to create a composition. There you have it. So we went from the original of literally nothing to ever, um, really a photo that got worked on. This was the before picture, and this is the after picture. And you can already tell this dreamy, se you know, kind of like the sequence that's going on, and. Um, Everything's been worked out. Her hair's been worked on. Her lips been worked on. Her skin's been worked on. Her eyes been worked on. And this has all been done. This is all done in literally probably about a little under 20, 30 minutes. So I hope you learned something today. Again, um, I did this on a really fast pace. Um, but if you slow down and work, you know, take longer than 30 minutes, you'll probably get an even better result than I did on this. Thank you.